Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, thank you for joining me. I'm Katie and we've got a dragon today. So a friend of mine was feeling a little under the weather so I reached out to them and said can I draw something that'll cheer you up? And they asked for a very, very, very pink dragon. Now admittedly, Pink's not a colour I turn to all the time for my drawings. I do use it. I think it works very nicely with teals and blues. But it's not really something I choose for a base colour. So I thought, yeah, let's do this. Why not? If that's going to cheer my friend up, that's what I'm going to do. However, this isn't just going to cheer my friend up. I really hope it's just going to cheer everyone else up too. We're facing weird times still at the moment and here in the UK we're, we've gone past the three week mark on lockdown and I thought maybe we could all do with a bit of a cheer up and that, that goes for wherever you are in the world actually but week three, week three and beyond, it, it's going tough now. Well actually to be fair I'm okay, I'm kind of happy just drawing all the time but I appreciate how hard it is as well at the same time there's a lot of stuff I miss I miss my friends as well wish I could go and see them but we can't at the moment we gotta we gotta stay put until this all blows over which it will but anyway enough of that so I agreed and I sent them a photograph of the finished piece and I said well I'm, I'm only gonna do this on one condition and that is that you give me a name for this dragon so my friend couldn't really think of a name off the top of their head and they asked their daughter to come up with a name and came out with the name Lila which I think is a fabulous name for a very pink dragon riding on a star. So this dragon will be called Lila Lightstar and she appears in the night sky just to sort of bring a bit of cheer. Doesn't matter wherever you are, you can see Lila Lightstar shining away. She'll turn up to cheer you up. She'll just put a smile on your face. She's there all of the time. And that's kind of what I wanted here. I thought a star would just highlight the fabulousness of the idea of drawing this. And yeah, why not? I feel like I'm waffling on a little bit here, but I just kind of want to cheer everyone up, really. I haven't really spoken about the materials all that much, so I thought it's been a while since I've properly played with my alcohol markers. So I got some Bristol board out and I thought, right, let's do it. I've got quite a lot of pink alcohol markers as well, so this just seemed perfect and you've just got all those gorgeous vibrant colours in there and I really enjoyed revisiting markers actually so I might do a few more bits and bobs with marker pens I think. So artists out there or anyone really who's watching what are you doing to keep yourselves occupied and entertained and cheered up at the moment or what are you doing to keep other people cheered up as well because we can still all reach out to people even if we can't physically see them. So I'd like to know how you're cheering yourself up and how you're cheering everyone else up. Let me know in the comments. So you might have noticed that I was using the Spectrum Noir pens that were featured in the last scroller box that I opened. Yeah, I think it was the last one. And I just used it mostly on the star and I'm still just not massively convinced by them really. I do think it's just a bit of a gimmick and it's the deeper colour isn't anything that I couldn't achieve by continuously layering a colour if that makes sense. I'll still use them though, I've got them, I should use them and I will use them and I am happy to report they haven't, that the nibs haven't gone on them yet which does surprise me because previous Spectrum Noir ones have but I've got to stop whinging about Spectrum Noir really I've just got to get over it and either not buy them or accept them when they received in a box. 
To make this all the more fabulous, I decided to add some sparkly colours on there. So I've used some glitter paint markers as well as Posca pens because I just really wanted it to stand out. I didn't want to use a gel pen on the actual dragon because it, it just wouldn't have been enough. So using a pink and white Posca pen to add some extra sparkles to the scales and go around the outline of the star just to make it look a little bit more luminous. And then to add the outline to the dragon, I used a purple Posca. I had originally drawn this out with Sakura Microns in coloured inks, and that was just so I could get a rough idea and not contaminate the alcohol markers with any graphite that I'd used. Oh, that was a mouthful. I did go around the dragon using a gel pen though and that was just because I did want that outline there but I just didn't want it to be quite as bright as using the Posca so it, it, was, it was like a happy medium for me there. So now just to add an extra bit of fabulousness it is time for some stars and again it's Poscas and I'm just keeping them quite localised to the dragon and I'm using your four pronged twinkly type stars rather than your five pointed ones I figured we've got we've got enough of them on there already and I really like how sparkly and shimmery this is it just adds a little bit of fabulous magic I also added a few more in there with a pink Posca pen and that's just along the purple streaks on the night sky. And yeah, I'm really happy with how this turned out. It was really fun to do. It cheered me up and I hope it cheered my friend up. Anyway, thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this little one. It's just an extra treat. I hope you're all keeping safe. And if you've enjoyed this, don't forget to hit like. And if you're new here and you've made it this far, why not subscribe and check out some of the other videos I've done. Anyway. I will see you all on the next video. See you soon. Bye.